Hello, bonjour, guten tag, namaste and mahaba. Good day to you, trader. As you have probably realized watching my channel, the right timing is a key to successful trading. That's why this channel deals mostly with time issues on the market. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips or in other words, a simple technique you can use to determine the right time for entries and exits from your open positions. Very simple, doesn't require any special tools, just a bit of common sense and few simple equations in Excel even a kid can do. So let's start the rock and roll. In my previous video, I've shown you an example that based on the secret cut of the code hidden behind the square of nine, you can achieve some outstanding results like this one on this chart, right over here on, this is great British pound USD for our chart, but it, the, these points, these tops and bottoms were determined on one hour chart, which was really accurate as you can see over here. And it's shown even that the next, next turning point should be a 20th of March, which happened on Saturday. Today is Sunday 21st. So we might expect that right now over here, something is going to happen, especially that the next line will come here at the open zero point at uh, at 22nd of March, or maybe this bottom, it's marked as uh, as calculated last candle of 19th, a day before 20th. Especially that we got this funny, this funny trend line which goes somewhere here, and the market might get rejected here, not 100%, but it might be a reversal point. So. Anyway, this method I told you requires to know how to calculate it. What I teach on my private online tutorials of, uh, via the Skype. You can find the contact details below this video where you can find out more about my mentoring sessions. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can give it a try, obviously. So if you want to go deeper into the, the onto the WD Guns path, but today, I want to show you a simple method, not so precise as that one based on the square of nine, but it can also give you really nice results like this ones. I've got it already prepared here. Look over here. This all has been calculated by this method and I show you how to do that, how I achieved these tops and bottoms over here. And you might try to use it obviously on your on your demo account. This is a EURUSD chart at the moment, daily chart, but you can apply this method to any instrument and you'll be surprised how nice it works. As I told you in my previous videos about the sidereal cycle of the moon, that it is 27.3 days. This is the full cycle of the moon, which is 27.3 days as seen from the space, because at the, from the Earth we see it as a 29 and a half day. 27.3, important number, very important cycle. Let me show you what you can do with that. So in front of me, I've got calculated an Excel sheet, which is, uh, it shows the starting point. The important thing is to, to choose the right starting point. The starting point I've chosen was 1st of September, 2020, 1600. My server time, let me show you. It's over here, is this candle over here. Let me just, uh, just show you how I did that, just to, um, to show you how you can determine. So I can see this 1st September over here, and this candle, which made a market made a high over here, it shows 1600, 1st September 2020. So that was my starting point. So having chosen the, the right starting point over here, as it looks like, 
this one here is this candle is a daily candle and on one hour chart it looked as as i've shown you as i've shown you previously which is september oh it is far away September over here, this candle, 1600, my server time. So it has to, to fit your server time in order to project it into the future. What I did with that, I took the starting point date over here and I put in a row, this is a one, two, three, four, is a multiplicating factor of of 13.65, which is half of the moon cycle 13.65 it's just a half of a sidereal cycle of the moon and full cycle is 27 one half cycle is 40.95 days and so on and so on and i went up to up to number 18 which shows nice nine cycles of the moon which shows 5th of may 2021 at 848 what is important in that that it will give you exactly precise hour when the market made when the cycle went half cycle or full cycle went from the starting point which i remind you was first september 2020 at 1600 my server time and your server time might be different and this hour will be different obviously as well this formula, very simple, is equal to 27.3 divided by 2. And all the result of this equation, of this division, is multiplied by B5, which is this column. And what we've got, let me show, we've got 15, 9, 20, 20, 7, 36. Which is, which is, so it's, it's 7 o'clock, 59. Let's check it again. Let's let's just check this one. Don't save. We check this one and what we've got 1509 736. So this is the candle starting at seven o'clock and it shows here. I wouldn't go through all of them. The next one is 28th of September at 2300. Is 28 at 2300. Look over here. Next one is 12 October at uh, 14. 100, 12th of October at 1400 is somewhere here, 12 October 1400 and so on so on. I marked all these lines. If the date has fallen on Saturday, I usually placed the line, this vertical line, at the last candle on Friday before the date. Like here is 26, is 26 is okay, we got 8, 11. 8.11 is still working. No, it's 9.11. 8.11 was Sunday. So I placed the line, the next candle after the Sunday, which is first candle on Monday on one hour chart. Look over here. So instead of, uh, instead of 8 November 2020 at 2200, I put the candle. This was Sunday. So first candle on Monday is this one. And in this case, Further, we got 23rd, 11th, 23rd November, which is 22nd over here again. So 22nd was on Sunday. So first candle on Monday, 23rd of December, and so on, so on. I went through all of this. Now, important thing is what I wanted to show you, because it, uh, well, it looks as it looks. It shows some tops, it shows some local bottoms, but not very precisely, not up to an hour. But if you change it into the four hour chart already, you will see that it starts looking quite decently. At least the first one half of the cycle shown exactly the top, another one nearly the bottom the difference is not that much on four hour chart because it is 40 pips from the bottom before it started this upswing on 12th of this october we've got nearly off the top 10 15 pips probably look over here it's 25 pips off the top here the same situation so the market is showing some places which we call them harmonic. Some of them are not that certain, but other, they look like 
very nice places and let me show you how it looks like on daily on daily it looks even better it is like come on babe let's make it this way let's zoom it in on daily we got top we got bottom we got top we got top another top we got the bottom here is a miss but here we got a top here we got a bottom here a bottom a top top start of the downtrend and again the end of this uptrend of three days so the last one was 11 march 2021 the next point cyclical with this multiplicating factor of 27.3 falls on where is it it should fall on march 25th at 10 o'clock in the morning so if you observe this date which is not far away it's another four days 25th is on thursday so from today in four days it seems that the market is very likely to make a reversal well i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found some value in it thanks very much for watching check out my private online tutorials Hope to see you back again and happy trading. Bye-bye.